Good day gamers, Matt in the Hat here and welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel. Today we are jumping back into Halo 4 now that we've finished playing the Destiny Final Shape DLC. Um, my god, it was fun. <laughs> so well written and everything. And uh, yeah, you can go check out that entire playlist now. Um, but now, yeah. Uh, honestly, I can't remember what happened last time in Halo, um, but I think we're on our way to try and get to a space station and try and thwart the, uh, Diadect. So let's jump in with that, I suppose. Um, before we jump in, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. As always, greatly appreciated and helps the channel to grow. But without further ado, let's jump straight into Halo 4. I can give you over 40,000 reasons why I know that sun isn't real. <laughs> I know it because the emitter's Rayleigh effect is disproportionate to its suggested size. Oh. I know it because its stellar cycle is more symmetrical than that of an actual star. Sure. But for all that, I'll never actually know if it looks real. If it feels real. Before this is all over, promise me you'll figure out which one of us is the machine. <laughs> How dare she? <laughs> so what's your plan? Infinity's tracked the Didax vessel to a docking structure southeast of here. We'll jump ship as Infinity exits the roof. You know, I was sent down here with orders to prevent you from leaving. In case you'd already gone, I took the precaution of ordering a pelican. Outfitted for full combat pursuit. Huh. I hope to God you're wrong about that forerunner. Or whatever he is, Chief. But in the vent, you're not. And Chief, good luck. Don't die. <laughs> Both of you. Come on, Chief. Take a girl for a ride. <laughs> She's such a flirt. Didact used this composer to create the Prometheans from ancient humans. If he wants to finish the job, he'll have to find it first. Our best bet to stop him is keep him firmly on Requiem. Let's hope Lasky didn't skimp on that pelican. Ah, oh, nah, no, maybe keep the soul, I suppose. Great timing, Chief. This is all kind of wrong, man. I am. Oh. That was real good. Attention. Sorry. All hands. Final call. Secure all codes and prepare for immediate departure. How do we... Oh, yeah, we've got pilot, don't we? Initiating pre-flight diagnostics. I forgot Forward that auto we're in charge check. of flying. <laughs> rail curves, check. Main thrusters, check. Auxiliary boosters, check. All right. Keying engine. Oh, look at this. It may be a while before we find another ride home. You know that, right? It'll be okay. Fun about two, you are clear for takeoff. Contact. Didact dead ahead. How do we get inside those shields? Marking hmm. two of the larger facilities on your HUD. They're acting as traffic control for resources moving to and from the satellite. If we 
disrupt their communications, I can forge an override code and convince it to lower those defenses. This is cool. I had uh, completely forgotten that this was one of the missions in this game. <laughs> Sounds oh my god, a bail. How do we decide? <laughs> ah, troll. I now it says. But I, yeah, I was directing thought. traffic to the Didact satellite through a carrier wave generator located somewhere inside. Of course, if Infinity wasn't on its way back to Earth, locating and disabling it would be trivial. <laughs> we can handle it. That's hardly the point, is it? I found the carrier wave generator. It's on the opposite end of this chamber. We can use this gondola to cross to the other side. Find the activation switch. Hmm. Definitely well stopped up here. But no, yeah, as I was gonna say. Take a page out of our old playbook. I'm going to tune your shields to emit an EMP at the same frequency as the communication network. All you'll need to do to trigger it is to make physical contact with the carrier wave generator. I'm trying to talk over Cortana is such a pain in the butt. <laughs> you never know when she's gonna say something. <laughs> um, but no, yeah. Destiny 2 was a blast. Um, as I said, such a really good story. Um, Taking fire, starboard side. Someone seems to be broken over there. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Why are we stopping? They've overridden the gondola controls. Light up the override on the HUD. Cortana, the override. Here. Nice. I just, uh, I, I, I. I wouldn't say that Destiny's improved my accuracy. <laughs> but. We seem to be doing pretty good with our shots today. Oh well. Didn't want to use that grenade anyway. Please be dead. <laughs> I don't actually think anything else is alive. Oh, I can hear something. Hmm. 
This will come in handy. Okay, the lockout has been released, but I hate how much range that bloody shotgun has. I probably had the same bloody gun as me, not a shotgun. My god. Oh. Someone survived. I will if the ghost is okay, what are Ooh, binary rifle. Seems a bit overkill, but if some big f shows himself. <clears throat> And I, yeah, Halo's, uh, not Halo, Destiny 2's Final Shoot DLC was a lot of fun. It was generally very well, very well written. They're not going to make this easy, are they? The, um... Literally, I can't fault it. Cutscenes were, like, stunning. It was just overall a really fun DLC to play to be honest. Fuck. Right, time to <laughs> swap weapons I suppose. Oh, it was fun while it lasted. Moving to override the transport controls. Uh, but later on today, after maybe tomorrow, to be fair, um, I'll have the new Destiny seasonal content to record. game. I just want to kill that sh flying fucker. That was a shit fucker, to be honest. You know what ammo and grenades and shit. Oh, can't hide from me. Right, that's one thing.
Gonna try and give them more ammo for this again. <laughs> Literally just wasting ammo trying to make my life easier. That didn't kill him. He's stuck between two of those. My oh, shield's broke. Uh, yeah, I absolutely loved every minute of playing Final Shape. It was so good. The words cannot really describe <laughs> how cool it was. Um, but, I mean, amazingly, one of Bungie's partner companies that reached out to me and was like, ah, here is a copy of Delightful, uh, Delightful Final Shape and... On the platform, that's the carrier wave generator. Enter the carrier field to trigger the suit DMP. Oh my god, leave me alone. But now, yeah, it was a risk for the platform. It was That's a surprise to get that game. Um, Enter the carrier field to trigger the suit EMP. Sent to me for free. Um, obviously, this is only a small channel. There is uh, like less than 240 of you lovely fellas. Deal with these goons. Yes.
Oh no, they haven't retreated. There's more. All the things to throw at me. Why'd it have to be them? Oh, this reset is more ammo. That's good. Leave me alone. I doubt it will let us. We're about to have to like, fight our way out. But only the forerunners are its masters. Cortana, where's this coming from? Where's what coming from? The Didact's voice. Yeah. I'm not picking up anything, Chief. He's there. Keep trying. No, there was also a lot of games revealed at the um revealed by Xbox the other day. And uh I can tell you for a fact that we'll be <laughs> definitely be playing some of them when they come out. Definitely excited for um the new Life is Strange game and the new Doom game. Like Life is Strange, one of the first games I've played on the channel. And it's uh, follow up games. Ready for when True Colors came. And uh, obviously, we played Doom Eternal and Doom somewhat recently as well. Covenant air traffic's increasing. If we don't disable the other tower quickly, reaching the Didact could become exponentially more difficult. And, uh, yeah, I had an absolute blast playing those games. And, uh, yeah, Life is Strange looks definitely peculiar. Uh, it's taken... Max is back, and she has a sort of better understanding of her the powers and stuff. But I'm detecting increased activity inside the satellite. And something tells me that's probably not a good thing. Yeah, Life is Strange looks really interesting. Um, because Max is back. And she seems to have a sort of new understanding of her powers. I'll try and play this a bit safe with some. Um, these vehicles seem to um They seem to have anti aircraft capabilities and they are hitting pretty hard. Am I? Um Yeah, so Max is back and her powers have been developed a bit. And uh the new game's a murder mystery. So I would definitely be curious to see what the achievements are like. And uh, Doom, the new Doom game seems to be going backwards in time a bit and seems more medieval. <laughs> but no, it does look really good. They showcase a whole variety of weapons and shit. My God. <laughs> Chief, there's a lot more comm traffic passing through this tower than just what's servicing the Didac satellite. Mm. These systems use data attenuators to regulate the flow of communications. Destroying those would drown out the tower's transmission. The tower's instructions to the Didac shield would be drowned in the noise. I 
thought that door would close behind me for a minute. Hmm. The tower's attenuator would most likely be housed in a Faraday enclosure. Let's see if we can find its controls around here somewhere. Out of ammo again. This will do. Taboom. Entirely sure what the plan of action is here. Okay, the structure actually contains three central attenuators. We'll have to sever all three connections. Ah. Alright, do you mind marking them for me then, Cortana? If there's three of them. Easy. Your actions check to the honor and foolishness. Yeah. Cortana, are you hearing me? No. Didact? Really? None of those shots were bloody hitting him. Now he's got full turret at his disposal. Had ammo. Oh, 
Pretty sure there's another dog over there. Trying to hit those fuckers is ridiculous. <laughs> doesn't appear to be any good angle where we can cheese. Even if we wanted to cheese the angle, oh no, it is exposed. I'm just imagining things. Bloody watcher managed to spawn me in a tower. How dare it. Suppose we have to take them out and see. in whichever way you feel like it. What that icon means that just popped up. Even now, your kind tinkers with the composer in the shadow of the third ring. Children in fire who disregard the welfare of the galaxy. Underneath the shadow of the third ring. Success. The system's Ooh. overloading. I don't think we'll be having any more trouble from those shields. Oh. That definitely seemed easier than the other one.
the absolute audacity on that fellow. <laughs> So what do we do now? Do you truly believe these theatrics can prevent my departure? Embrace your sad fate and retain your nobility. I am already beyond you. He knows what we're trying to do. If we try to get too close to that ship, we're dead. I... I have an idea. Head for that waypoint. I can't tell if we're descending very much. Oh, I'm way past the marker. <laughs> Those defense spires we keep running into are being controlled from this tower. Get me to the control room, and we might be able to reposition them to block the Didact ship from leaving. <laughs> I don't think you'll let us get away with that. <laughs> but I suppose it's worth a shot nonetheless. Where am I supposed to be going? <laughs> Welcome to Legendary Difficulty. Game mode where all the bad guys are holding down the trigger button, ready to zap you. It is ridiculous the amount of enemies that are charging their weapons. <laughs> Such a way to go. Where's the bloody tunnel? I mean, he's easy to get rid of.
Uh, pero ahí. Oh, I forgot I had this. <laughs> Let that bloody fjord cannon go. <laughs> I bet it probably went for a swim, didn't it? Too good. Hmm. If we can find any more grenades. Literally, all I need is like this. This is what I need. And that was real convenient that there was a grab lift there. Or oh, grab launch or whatever they're called. <laughs> oh, I hope that's it. I don't understand why we're not like in the middle of the lift.
One particular run is very tricky. Oh shit. Time to get out of here and find another one. There's one. I'll do. <laughs> them to get to the didact ship wait across them <laughs> yes um there there are several liches moving in formation towards the didact ship we're only going to have one shot at this <laughs> Fuck it out. I thought it was going to make us jump between all of them for a minute then. <laughs> oh. Cortana, what's Sorry. happening? No, just... I don't know. He's got a big ship now. Go on. This is one of the coolest shots in like all the Halo games. On another note. They're jumping into slipstream. Yeah, there was no. Like, Halo 7 no to build. <laughs> Which I'm kind of thankful for, but I need to fix my Xbox so that we can play Halo Wars and Halo 5 on the channel. I mean, we could just play Halo Infinite, but I don't know. I think there's a lot of other games. Um, I might want to play first, to be honest. Oh, we beat the p 
pass score. Can't say I'm surprised, to be fair. We did kill a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that'll do for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, feel free to check out some of the other content on the channel as well. There is quite a big variety to choose from, to be fair. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.